Around 4,000 years ago, the Hittites, a warrior people from Asia Minor, modern-day Turkey, rose to become a dominant world power. They established a vast empire that spanned much of modern Turkey and Syria, rivaling the great civilizations of their time, including Egypt and the Mesopotamian empires of Assyria and Babylon. Despite their once mighty empire, the Hittite civilization eventually fell into obscurity, and their history was largely forgotten. Only scattered references in the Old Testament kept their name alive in human memory. However, within a single lifetime, the story of the Hittites began to be unraveled. Most of the knowledge about them has been pieced together since World War I. The primary source of information comes from the discovery of a royal library containing 10,000 clay tablets. These tablets were found in the ruins of the ancient Hittite capital, Katushash, near Bogus Khoi in Turkey, approximately 90 miles, 145 kilometers, east of Ankara. The tablets were inscribed in cuneiform writing, and though most of them were in Babylonian spelling, they were in the Hittite language. For a time, scholars struggled to decipher this unknown language. However, an Austrian professor named Friedrich Harani made a breakthrough when he found similarities between certain Hittite words and the Babylonian word for bread. He suspected that the Hittite word wadar might mean water. By exploring more word roots, he concluded by 1915 that Hittite is an Indo-European language, related to our own. Despite this breakthrough, it took another 10 years to fully translate the tablets and gain a deeper understanding of the Hittite civilization. These archaeological discoveries have provided valuable insights into the ancient Hittite culture and their place in history. Around 3000 BC, the Hittites, who were once wild tribesmen, migrated from the north with horses, chariots, and bronze weapons. They easily conquered the peaceful farmers and herdsmen of Asia Minor, who lacked advanced means of transportation or warfare. By approximately 2000 BC, a king named Labarna united the Hittite dominions and established their first empire. Subsequent kings expanded their power into Syria and Mesopotamia. This empire lasted until around 1650 BC, after which a more powerful empire emerged around 1450 BC. The strength of the new empire was attributed to their pioneering use of iron, which they were the first to utilize. Their mines near the Black Sea became a major source of the world's iron supply. Over time, the Hittite empire declined, and it transformed into smaller city kingdoms between 1050 and 850 BC. These city kingdoms eventually fell to the Achaeans, who invaded the region in a wave of Indo-European migration, similar to the one that led to the rise of the Hittite Empire. Despite their empire's decline, the Hittites maintained a reputation as skilled soldiers. For instance, Uriah the Hittite served as a captain in King David's army. In the fertile regions of their rugged land, the ancient Hittites cultivated various crops such as barley, wheat, grapes, and olives. They also engaged in beekeeping, which served as their sugar industry. The Hittites raised livestock, including horses, cattle, sheep, and goats. They designed unique shoes with upturned tips, which were ideal for walking on snowy mountain passes. Evidence like loom weights and spindle whirls suggest that they were skilled in cloth manufacturing. The Hittites were also known for their craftsmanship in metals, producing beautiful cups, jars, and pitchers with graceful and original designs. Their society was organized militarily, and daily life was closely governed by laws. Prices for goods like fields, vineyards, cattle, and hides were fixed, as were the wages for both free people and slaves. While the punishments for lawbreaking were relatively mild, crimes such as murder and theft carried heavy fines, making them unaffordable for most. The Hittites played a significant role in Western civilization by acting as intermediaries between the older cultures of the East and passing on ideas that influenced the Greeks in their art, religion, and business practices. Their mines supplied iron, which led to the advancement of tools and brought the Bronze Age to an end in the Mediterranean region. Above all, the Hittites held a crucial position as a bridge between Asia and Europe during a critical phase of Western cultural development. Their dominance for about a millennium prevented potential threats from Asian despots that could have stifled European civilization in its early stages. 